Digitization in journalism. Digitization is the process of converting information from a physical format into a digital one. During 600 to 700 AD, China introduced symbols carved into wooden blocks. Then in 1456, Germany brought about the printing press and the production of pamphlets. 1704 to 1713, pamphlets developed into newspapers published up to three times a week. 1940s, it's debatable that the introduction of TV was the first days of digitization in journalism, but can also be argued in 1998 that digitization is when the World Wide Web emerged. How far we have advanced today is because of the continual impact of digitization on journalism, which in result gave birth to citizen journalism. Digitization transformed journalism into a rolling news cycle, where news is produced as it happens. Printing was tedious in the past because everything had to be handwritten and copied. Now, the introduction of smartphones shifted news from traditional print to news app ubiquitous. I know, a big fancy word. It basically means the widespread and our acceptance of news apps on our phones. According to Goggin, utilizing technology such as reading on digital platforms can be as refreshing as taking a walk in the woods. Would you wait for the papers at 4 a.m. to find out about yesterday's news? Digital news means refreshing news sites for breaking stories, often with the help of sound, photos and videos. This is called convergence, in which Henry Jenkins argues that it should not be understood as a technological process, but rather a cultural shift, as consumers are encouraged to seek out new information by making connections among dispersed media content. What used to be a top-down process where citizens are fed with newspapers or radio broadcasts, but a cultural shift means individuals cherry-pick their content, accepting only what they want to follow. Convergence can be understood in four ways. One of these is social convergence, which consists of content sharing, peer-to-peer -peer communication, and wide distribution of user credit content. We have moved from media to social media from 2004 with the birth of Web 2.0. We saw a shift where content is produced by a smaller number of professionals, the rise of amateur videos. The result, it becomes normalized for one to document their lives and share it with their friends in the world. When taken seriously, this is a powerful tool called citizen journalism. At the 2017 Las Vegas shooting, festival goers compelled the videos to form a narrative of what happened. They were subconsciously doing valuable works of journalism. They proved better than professionals because they were there and then. This is citizen power, journalism in their pockets. Because of digitization in journalism, you and I have the potential to educate the masses outside political jargon stories. An emphasis on celebrities of human interest. What did Ben Cousins do again? What we need is better education in journalism in our school curriculums. Educating on identifying objectivity to make better decisions and tailoring one news feeds to contain quality, informative news, which maybe then the world could be a better place.